Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, 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 nerd. And it's time for our weekly track roundup where I give my thoughts on a bunch of songs that have dropped over the past week or so, whether I loved them or hated them or felt somewhere in between, you know, somewhere on that spectrum. And, uh, you know, regardless, they are all linked down below so you could check them out for yourself also linked down below of course our turntable lab link we get kicked back from it if uh, you use it to buy some vinyl buy some turntable stuff buy some anything <laughs> it helps what also helps is uh accessing through whatever tier our our discord community uh, via our patreon page uh, we also have monthly let's argues cool chill classic album uh, listen along live streams it's it's a great place our patreon page uh, check it out also our youtube shorts page is linked down below to follow today and um, yeah before we move on i just want to quickly uh, say uh, hey we we just hit 1 billion views on this youtube channel right here fire amazing awesome dank cool thanks for making it happen all right uh, let's move on to the worst tracks of the week we have a handful of those they are as follows uh starting off with a uh, this new one from gail you know the a b c d e f u uh singer and songwriter who is working with royals and the serpent on this track uh, the, the song is about a song that that smacks and it's called kind of smacks whatever that song is it must be different than the literal song we're hearing here because this one does not smack uh it is actually quite unfortunate to write a song about a song that smacks and it it not be the song that you're listening to that the song is about it's it's a much more mediocre kind of bedroom popish you know lo-fi rock song that does not uh, in fact smack but you know what are you gonna do all right uh, moving on from there we have a new one from polo g uh which is is kind of funny to say because uh sorry's and ferraris is the name of the track it, it, it's it's weird to say this is new polo g because it does not sound new uh, i feel like polo g has been writing this very song for years now and has absolutely nothing new to bring to it and um it, it, he's he's actually kind of sounding quite bored on his own music at this point and i don't get why he just keeps kind of painting himself into a corner he doesn't need to do this uh, he has the talent and the versatility to do something else and yet he refuses to all right uh, we have a new one from pearl jam bringing those Ford truck month riffs with completely unintelligible vocals on the new song dark matter don't need it moving on uh, and we also have a new one from flume with kushka in the mix who he has uh, collaborated b uh, with before but this new song over here one more night uh, kind of sounds like um boneless pc music not crazy about it it's bland and uh, could really use some retooling as well as maybe a more uh i guess uh, you could say i don't know uh original direction or something all right uh moving on from there the tracks that i was uh pretty neutral on not crazy about myself but you might like them more than me they are as follows uh we have a new one over here <clears throat> from matt champion of brockhampton fame who has a new single out featuring uh, none other than dijon and i i do think matt goes a little heavy-handed with um you know some of like the vocoder or like auto-tune layers on the hook of this track but honestly when it comes to this super emotional kind of white boy bedroom pop r&b stuff where you're singing you're rapping you've you've got some slightly messy production uh he sounded pretty good he's sounding comfortable in this style and um you know much 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 uh less annoying than some of the artists who are kind of paving the way and kind of leading the way in this genre if he just like you know kind of better had a better vocal presentation i think the song would have come out a lot better uh but still you know looking forward to him possibly touching down on this kind of vibe and sound more or, you know whatever he's going to be doing with uh, you know fingers crossed a uh, forthcoming album aphid is the title of the track uh, we also have this new cover from uh, lana del rey of the song blue skies from the new look soundtrack which is a uh, a pretty pleasant it's sweet it's cute uh, we also have a new one from a uh, mon laferte kind of seems like a post non-album you know single as a, you know, she recently put out an LP that I loved last year, uh, gave it a very positive review. Uh, this kind of seems like a very electronic, auto-tuned Latin pop 
again, leftover from that record that isn't quite as well structured and produced and everything, but you know, it does have its, uh, interesting moments for sure. Uh, so make sure to, uh, check out the, that track because I, I do think she is, a uh, one of the more forward thinking Latin art pop artists of the moment. And if you haven't heard this track, or if you refuse to listen to this track, at least listen to, you know, the, uh, recent album she dropped. It is a uh, quite good. Uh, very adventurous. Kim Gordon of Sonic Youth fame, uh, which if you guys remember, uh, I really enjoyed her last single for this forthcoming uh, The Collective record. We have another taste of it, I'm a Man. And it's kind of her doing almost another distorted trap banger. But this time I feel like uh, sonically and structurally, this one kind of drags on a little bit longer than it really needs to. But I still feel like, you know, we're kind of in the same realm of vibes and instrumental aesthetics and vocal delivery. So it, it's it's not too bad. I, I just feel like it kind of a overstays its welcome a bit. But I, I do like that she's kind of making these types of tracks and, and at the age of 70, really putting out some legit bangers at this point in her career. Uh, we have a new one from High on Fire. Um, you know, look, if, if you're looking for some sludge, if you're looking for some heavy, epic, somewhat progressive shit, check this new track out. Uh, Burning Down is the title of it. New album on the way. Um, you know, there are moments where I think the band has sounded heavier and writing wise, I feel like high on fire is just really kind of giving us high on fire by the numbers with this new track. I'm not too excited about it, but, um, you know, maybe the new record will offer some more refreshing and interesting tracks. Uh, moving on from there, Gunna has a new track titled bittersweet, which I'm a little torn on. I think, uh, it does drag on. I think it is very one dimensional. I think after a while, his lack of exciting vocal delivery presentation, anything, uh, does, you know, lead the track to staling out a bit, but I do like the fact that he is kind of, you know, taking a bit of a personal and emotional approach throughout the entire track, uh, on the lyrical front. You know, I, I think it's cool that he's kind of switching things up in that way, getting a bit more introspective, getting a bit more focused, but, um, you know, he just doesn't really kind of divvy or vary the song up enough, uh, for it to really be interesting from beginning to end, but still, you know, respect to, uh, him for, trying a bit here. Uh, we have a new one from Glaive over here. I don't really feel it anymore, uh, which I think has its moments, but it's a bit of a, uh, shorty that kind of lacks structure in a memorable chorus, but, uh, you know, still good on him for continuing to grind on that, uh, you know, lo-fi bedroom pot boy vibe. And uh, let's move on to the best tracks of the week. What are those? What are they? What are those best tracks? We have quite a few. Let's see. Uh, we have a brand new one over here, a brand new two over here from none other than Vampire Weekend, who have a new record on the way. The two tracks that we have here are Capricorn and Gen X Cops. I kind of favor Gen X Cops a little bit more. Uh, it's very chaotic. It's very textured. It's very creatively uh, produced. Uh, it kind of feels like Vampire Weekend is back in their bag uh, instrumentally, because I do feel like the last record with Rostam kind of departing from the group, um, you know, the instrumentals just were not as creative, were not as vibrant, though the songwriting was there in some pockets. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, Ezra is, uh, you know, back on a, uh, a good track as far as lyrics in terms of vocal melodies, too. And, um, you know, again, um, instrumentals popping off now as well. Really thinking the, uh, the band sounding creative once again. And I am pretty hyped for this upcoming album, Vampire Weekend. Once again, uh, we have Tierra Wack, who I think has come through with uh, my favorite teaser to this forthcoming record of hers. 27 Club is the title of it. And, um, you know, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush with this. It is a super personal, devastating, depression, uh, depressing, um, you know, little uh, rap R&B ballad blend, you could say. And uh, one of the most powerful tracks I think she's ever put out, um, you know, again, like really killer really emotional. Um, and you know, the music video visuals that I've seen attached to it, uh, uh are super creative and <laughs> just frankly insane. Um, Tierra Wack is, you know, really, um, doing something on this new track. That's for sure. So again, 27 club, check it out. Highly recommend it. Uh, moving on from there, we have a, a new one over here from Fortet who has a new record on the way. Uh, this track over here has some driving kicks, some really uh, colorful, fruity electronics. It is quite groovy. It is quite uh, textured. And I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Uh, the title of this one is Daydream uh, Repeat. All right, moving on from there. A couple more, a couple more. Uh, Schoolboy Q has come through with a new banger. Yearn. 
101. Uh, Schoolboy is once again hopping on some very creative, very out there production and giving us some creative flows. It's not the most varied uh, song in the world. You know, it's, it's uh, maybe could have uh, had a more part B sections in it or something to kind of switch things up. But I do think it is sounding a much bolder than anything he's had on his last couple of records uh, that is for sure. All right. We have a, a new one from Nia Archives who uh, dropped an EP last year that I thought was quite great. One of my favorites of that year. She had a killer single already for this forthcoming album of hers, Crowded Rooms, that we've shouted out on a previous weekly track roundup. And now we have another Silence is Loud, which is the title track to this uh, forthcoming record. And this song goes even harder. Just super crazy, distorted, vintage UK dance pop with those awesome breakbeats. Great lead vocals in it, too. Uh, it's absolutely killer. It's absolutely killer. You know, if, if you're digging out stuff like Pink Panther S, but you want something with a little bit more, more bite, give this a spin. All right, moving on from there. Uh, goddamn, uh, Ariana Grande with Mommy. Mommy Mariah, Mariah Carey coming through the new version of Yes And, and it, it's better. It's better than the original. Not only do Mariah's vocals on the track sound great, but the instrumental goes harder now. Now the instrumental is better. We, like we fix, like it's fixed. It's fi the, the original version, boring. It's just okay. It's all right. It's an okay piece of dance pop. Kind of pales in comparison with a lot of the stuff that's been, you know, kind of trending in that direction as of late. But this new version goes hard. Yes. And like, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, like, it's it's bold now. It's colorful now. It's going somewhere. Damn. I'm, I'm really liking this new version. Again, fixed. Improved on every front. All right, moving on from there. Dua Lipa, training season. Really love this single. Dua Lipa sounding great over some clean, funky, dramatic, well-produced pop with a danceable bass line. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just so many hooky little melodies and licks and everything throughout the entire track. It's sounding good. Sounding good, fellas. All right, we have a, a new bop from Conway the Machine, Joey Badass. It's, it's kind of your typical Griselda garb, but it goes the distance, has a lot of good bars on it, and uh, Joey is nothing to sneeze at on the track, that is for sure. All right, next uh, we have Caroline Polachek, who has come through with the new deluxe edition of the album she dropped last year. A lot of extra tracks and bangers on there. Uh, one that I wanted to point your way is Spring is Coming with a Strawberry in the Mouth. I just wanted to tell you guys and remind you guys that this is out. So if you really like that Caroline record, there's more, there's extra, give it a spin. Uh, we also have Camera Obscura. Yes, that Camera Obscura uh, coming through with a new album, Look to the East, Look to the West. Uh, first taste of it being the song Big Love. And it's a little cute little country throwback ballad. It's nice. It's really nice. Uh, also, you know, vocally, um, you know, the, the re really, uh, sounding just as fresh and youthful and, uh, you know, fun and carefree as like a lot of the older stuff, but, uh, you know, a, a nice little mature attempt at a, at a, at a country aesthetic here. And it's working out really well. I don't know if the rest of the record is going to be like that, but you know, at, at least single wise, it sounds real good. All right. Uh, speaking of country, Beyonce is going country now with two new tracks and apparently in the future, a new album. Uh, the tracks being Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. We did a discussion slash review of these on the Fantano channel in more depth if you want to check that out. Uh, 16 Carriages, I'm liking a little bit more than Texas Hold'em. I mean, they're, they're both good. They're both quite good. But, you know, this one's more of a country rock blend with a super, you know, mountainous ascending grand chorus. Uh, very good, a uh, strong vocal performance, too. And, uh, yeah, you know, Beyonce is uh, really kind of killing it with this new country vibe. Um, yeah, I mean, she is a Texan after all. Why not? Why not? All right. And, uh, and finally, Beth Gibbons, Beth Gibbons of Portishead fame, new solo record on the way. We have a taste of that as well through the new song floating on a moment. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of kind of orchestral instrumentation in the mix here. You know, just a lot of layers. Uh, of course, vocally, she sounds incredible. Um, you know, it's not quite the dusty trip hop vibe that, you know, she's known for being associated with. But, uh, you know, instrumentally, it is different. It is ambitious. And, um, you know, again, vocally, she has really not missed a beat, sounding as amazing as ever on um, this new cut over here. And, uh, yeah, that is the weekly track roundup, everybody. Hopefully you got some good, great, fantastic recommendations out of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Love you. Hope you're doing good. Weekly tracks forever.